Okay, guys, Panzer J back here with Operation No Time to Die. We're up to turn 17, July 44. So this is the first turn that the game can possibly end, depending on our variable die roll ending. Not likely to end this turn, but there's a slim chance. So we're up to Germany 17.1, and things continue to heat up all across uh, Europe into Russia and the Pacific. The U.S. had a really good turn. If you watched Madman Dan's video, um, he took out a bunch of Japanese units at a relatively low cost to him. So the Japanese are definitely feeling uh, the pressure in the Pacific. And even Anzac and the Far East Commander, um, you know, got some uh, units on the board that can uh, do some damage to the Japanese. Over in Europe, um, Germany looks pretty strong right now. Um, they're collecting the most money in the game, at least in terms of ground and air units. They're the strongest um, army and air force in the game. Uh, but they are also feeling some pressure. The Allies landed in Spain, and they got a sizable force um, in Spain as well as um, they're starting to get into the Balkan uh, countries by taking Bulgaria and Yugoslavia. We'll take Yugoslavia back this turn. but So we're going to have to do a little bit of cleanup down there and shore up some defenses. So I'm still fairly optimistic at this point. Um, I didn't add up exactly where the victory points are, but um, the Axis are in the lead. I think they have around 17 or so maybe. Uh, the Allies are around 12, and the Common Turn um, around 4 or so, I believe. So we've got a decent uh, lead, but it might all come down to uh, when the game ends. Um, if it ends within the next couple of turns, again, I'm cautiously optimistic the Axis can hold on. If it goes um, much past 20, it's going to be kind of a 50-50 proposition the way things look. So let's go ahead and do our tech rolls. So we have five for Germany. So we're going to try for heavy armor at stage two, jet fighters again at stage three, advanced subs, advanced anti-submarine warfare, both at stage two, and strategic rockets at stage one. So let's do our heavy armor first at an eight or higher. And we got a nine, so we succeeded there. Uh, jet fighters, eight or higher. Oh, my God. Again, we missed that. Advanced subs, eight or higher. I uh, missed that. Advanced anti-submarine warfare, seven or higher. A six, we missed that. And strategic rockets, nine or higher. And we got an eight. And of course, you couldn't have gotten that eight earlier. So we went up a whopping one out of five. Stage three for heavy armor. Okay. So on to purchases. Germany has... 82 to spend, and we're spending 81 of it this turn. So we're doing a fortification with improved construction. We can finish it off in one turn. So that's 10, and that's going in Paris. We're buying eight advanced mechanized for 32, so that's 42. We're buying an AA gun for four, that's 46. We're buying a total of nine infantry. I got 10 on the board here because one free from Spain. So... 9 times uh, 3, 27. 27 plus 46 is up to 73. And then we're doing 4 militia for 8. That's up to 81, so we save a buck. And again, i got to use some uh, partisan sculpts for part of my militia's units because I don't have enough. So we'll save a dollar for Germany. Now on to combat. We've got a few combat moves. So let's see. First in Russia... We are going to go ahead and take these two infantry in uh, Karelia, and they're going to come up one to Kola. And then we're going to have two of our fighters break off from uh, Smolensk here and go one, two, three, and they're going to go up to uh, Kola as well. So two infantry and two fighters there. Then we are going to go ahead and go down into Yugoslavia. So we are going to have two of our cavalry break off from Bavaria and go one through the mountains, two into Yugoslavia. And then we're going to have 
our three medium bombers from Smolensk come one, two, three, four, five, and go into uh, Yugoslavia as well. So that's two cavalry and three medium bombers there. And I believe, oh, there's two more combats, I'm sorry. Okay, another one is going to be down here in Spain. So I'm pretty sure Leon Castile has just two British infantry in it. I hope that's not incorrect. Um, so everything from uh, Madrid is going into Leon Castile. So that's two infantry, a militia, an artillery, and two fighters against two British infantry in mountains. That's battle number three. And finally, the fourth battle is going to be a walk-in. So over here in C zone uh, 16, we have a major shipyard. So we have an extra ship movement. So the two naval transports and the torpedo boat destroyer, which normally go two, can now go three. So they're going to come over one to th 15, two to 13, the two naval transports are going to pick up four German infantry, and then their last move is to 11 and drop them off in uh, Scotland. So let's move these all over. There, uh, There's no units in Scotland. Um, no fighters can scramble. There's none in um, northern England. There's no ships in the way, so that should be good to go. So that is up a dollar for Germany. So they will go to 72, and the British down one to 35, I believe. Um, that might be incorrect because I know that Madman Dan took Dutch New Guinea last turn. I don't know if he counted the $2 for himself or for uh, the British. I'm not sure. So that might be off by two. Okay, and I believe, let me just double check. Um, yeah, I believe that is it. So just those four combat moves. Okay, so let's go ahead and do up here in uh, Cola first. So we have two fighters and two infantry. So let me grab a dice tray real quick. Okay, so first are two fighters at sixes and a one and a seven. So that'll hit. The airborne defends at a two, and I just knocked everything over. Uh, defends at a two, and got a five, so he dies. So let's take the airborne off. Those two German infantry take uh, Cola back. So that's up a dollar for Germany. They go to 73, and down a dollar for Russia. They drop to 22. Okay, and then we have, let's do Yugoslavia next. That's the next easiest one. We have three medium bombers and two cavalry. So the three medium bombers will attack at a seven. We're going up against just a single French cavalry. Three sevens, a two, four, and a ten. So he is dead. The cavalry at a two for defense rolls a ten, so he misses. So that French cavalry is dead. And Yugoslavia is three, I believe. Yes, three dollars. So up another three for Germany to 76. And down three for the Free French to eight. And then the last battle is over here in Spain. Um, I've got two infantry, a militia, an artillery, and two fighters. So now uh, we're going into mountains, so everything's minus one, at least in terms of the ground unit. So the artillery first strike at a two. Rolls an 11, so he misses. Okay, so now we've got two fighters at sixes. And a five and a ten, so one hit. And then we've got two infantry. Uh, well, let's see. One of them will be paired with the artillery. So one infantry is a two, the other one's a one. So let's do the one at a two first. Gets an 11, misses. And the one at a one, misses. Okay, so now he gets two infantry rolls at four. And a three and a six, one hit. So he loses an infantry from my fighter. And I will lose the militia. Okay, so now we've got two fighters at six. <laughs> Missed at eight and a ten. Then we've got one infantry and an artillery, both at two. Oh, there you go. There's the two. Okay, so that's the last hit. His infantry return at four. 
Ah, uh, three gets a hit. So we're going to actually lose the artillery. So Leon Castile goes back to German with two infantry. It is worth a dollar. Okay. So that is back up a dollar for Germany. That's up to 77. And down a dollar for the British to 34. And that should be it for uh, combat. So now on to non-combat. So let's start over here in Russia. Uh, this paratrooper in northern Russia is going to move over one to uh, Karelia. These two uh, German fighters, they came up from uh, Smolensk. So one, two, three, and they're going to go four, five, and land in Leningrad. So those two fighters go to Leningrad. Then, oh, I'm sorry, we have one more combat move. It's just a walk-in, but um, I forgot. Okay, so one of the light armors from Smolensk is just going to come over one and take uh, northern Belarus. It's not worth any money. Okay, so now on to non-combat. Continue with that. These four ships in C-Zone 16 are going to come over one to C-Zone 15. That's two battleships and two coastal defense ships. We've got two uh, advanced mechs, one in Estonia, one in Latvia. Estonia is going to move up one to Leningrad, and the one in Latvia is going to go into Leningrad as well. Okay, we have uh, in Smolensk, we have five air transports. Okay, so three of the five are going to come up one northern Belarus, two Leningrad, and pick up the three paratroopers that are in Leningrad. So they've gone two, three Belarus, four Lebelski, five East Poland, six um, Romania. So those five air, well, it's going to be five, but that's three for now, three air transports and three paratroopers. Okay, the other two air transports that were in Smolensk go one, southern Belarus, Two Lebelski, three Warsaw, pick up those two paratroopers, four uh, West Poland, or East Poland, excuse me, five Romania. So all five paratroopers and air transports are down there in uh, Romania. And they had more than enough uh, movement. Okay, in Lebelski, we have three tank destroyers and two cavalry. They are going to move one. East Poland to Romania. Let's see what else. Romania is getting crowded. Okay. The four advanced mechs that are in Lithuania are going to go one Lebelski to southern Belarus. The cavalry in Don Manich is going to go one, um, Don it's Kuban, two, um, this T territory right above the Crimea. I have uh, 10 fighters left in Smolensk because two went to first Kola and then Leningrad. So the 10 fighters are going to go from Smolensk, one southern Belarus, two Lebelski, three East Poland, four Romania. We are going to have the entire force that is in Western Russia is going to back off one to uh, Smolensk. And I'll go through everything that is uh, in each territory here at the end as well. Okay, so take this one off the board. So those all move back one to Smolensk. Okay, the five cavalry in um, Bohemia go one Slovakia, two Romania. The six remaining infantry from Bavaria go one Bohemia, two Slovakia. 
Uh, let's see. The two infantry in Normandy pull back one to uh, Paris. And I think that's it besides the two fighters in Spain. Oh, the three medium bombers that attacked Yugoslavia move back one to Romania. The two fighters that attacked Leon Castile went one. They're going to go two this sea zone, three this sea zone, four Normandy, five Paris. So those two fighters go to uh, Paris as well. And I believe that is it for non-combat. I don't believe there is any other non-combat to do. Okay, so that should be everything. Okay, so for unit placement, we are going to place the fortification in Paris. And I'll clean up Paris. I'll probably have to do a task force marker for Paris. It's getting so full. So that is in Paris. The eight advanced mechs. We are putting all eight in Bavaria. We are putting an AA gun in Paris for one of our two units. We're putting an infantry in Paris for our second unit. Uh, the six, six of the uh, remaining nine infantry are being placed in West Germany. The other two paid-for infantry are being placed in Romania. And that has a minor factory that I can produce, too. The one free infantry, which is the last infantry, goes to Berlin. And then we have four uh, militia. So we are going to place those four militia. We are going to place one in Western Russia. We're going to place one in the Crimea. We are going to place one in uh, Southern Ukraine and the other one in Western Ukraine. And that should be it for uh, unit placement. So let's go over real quick before I collect income and do Vichy's role. So let's start over in Spain. We have two infantry in Leon Castile. In Scotland, we have four infantry, and then there's two naval transports and a torpedo boat destroyer in Sea Zone uh, 11. In Sea Zone 15, we have two battleships and two torpedo boat destroyers. Um, the Netherlands has a militia. West Germany has nine infantry. Berlin has three infantry, a fighter, and an AA. Bavaria has eight advanced mechs. Alsace-Lorraine has two SS Panzer Grenadiers and two advanced mechs. Paris has a total of eight infantry, one militia, one artillery, three AA guns, and six fighters and a fortification. Yugoslavia has two cavalry. Slovakia has six cavalry. Warsaw has a militia. Southern Finland has a militia. Uh, Kola has two infantry. Karelia has a paratrooper. Leningrad has two advanced mechs and two fighters. Northern Belarusia, a light armor. Southern Belarusia, four advanced mechs. A militia in Western Russia, Orel Kursk. Kiev, Eastern Ukraine, Western Ukraine, Southern Ukraine, and the Crimea. A cavalry in the territory right above the Crimea. And then the two big stacks, Romania and Smolensk. So Smolensk has... Uh, five advanced artillery, 14 medium armor, one militia, three SS Panzer Grenadiers, one light armor, I believe 18 advanced mechs, 
and I believe five motorized infantry. And then finally in Romania, we have five air transports, five paratroopers, three medium armor or three medium bombers, a militia, ten fighters, three tank destroyers, two infantry, and seven cavalry. So that should be it for uh, units on the board for Germany, minus the two subs that are over in Tokyo. So now on to uh, collect income as well as my Vichy roll. So we need a one or a two for Vichy. Oh, wow, we got a one. Holy cow, that's pretty good. Shocking. Okay, so for Vichy, we're going to add... Let's go ahead and add an infantry. So now Vichy will have two fighters, an artillery, and four infantry. Okay, and then also for Vichy, I know I I messed up again. I forgot another non-combat move. Sorry, guys. I want to move the entire Vichy fleet up one to uh, 49. So that whole fleet's back up there. So just add one uh, Vichy infantry. So now on to collect income. We're at 77 worth of territories. We have two bonuses, Romania and uh, Sweden. So that's six. So that's up to 83. We saved a dollar. That's 84. And then our wartime economy, 84 plus eight. So 84 plus eight, 92. So Germany will have $92 on turn 18 if it goes that far. Now things turn over to the common turn for 17-2.